Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at an infinite series. It's going to end up telescoping and our method is going to be telescoping plus something called partial fraction decomposition. So let me tell you what the problem is. It's 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 over 2 times 3 times 4 plus 1 over 3 times 4 times 5 off to infinity where the general term let's call it tk is 1 over k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 and that is the kth term and we'll go from term 1 all the way through to infinity Now there is a clever way to decompose this and I'll show it to you in the end but I want to go for pure partial fraction decomposition first and what I mean by that is something like this we have the following factors we have 1 over k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 so we're going to try to write this in a way that we have each of the factors as a fraction. So we're going to have a over k plus b over k plus 1 plus c over k plus 2. And we're, we're, we want to find out what a, b, and c are because this simplifies our problem what we'll do is clear the denominators and that gives us 1 equals to a times k plus 1 times k plus 2 plus b times k k plus 2 plus c times k k plus 1 now what I want you to notice is that we can make pairwise terms disappear by subbing in k equals to 0, k equals to 1, and k equals to 2. I'll show you each of these in detail. So if we have k equals to 0, then we have 0 here and we have 0 here. So all we're left with is 1 equals to 2a and that implies that a equals to 1 over 2 and I just want to make it clear this is not entirely rigorous because we're substituting in values which make these denominators 0 but it does end up working out so we're sort of using a, a pseudo rigorous method now for k equals to 1 we have that this goes to 0 and this goes to 0 so we're left with 1 equals to b with a coefficient. Let's find out the coefficient. It's going to be 1. Well, we have, uh, we're subbing in k, k equals to negative 1 here. So we have a negative 1, so we get negative b which implies b equals to negative 1. And finally we're going to substitute in negative 2. So we're going to get a 0 here and a 0 here. And what we're going to be left with over here is 1 equals to 2c which implies that c equals to a half. So the f our partial fraction decomposition is going to look like this. tk is equal to 1 over k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 which is equal to, we're going to factor out a half, so we get 1 over k minus 2 over k plus 1 
plus 1 over k plus 2. And if you, if you actually put the denominators together here, you do find that it's equal to this. So this method does work. You just have to check that it works in the end. You can do that on your own, so I'm not going to do that here. So that gives us a decomposition, but we still have an infinite sum. Let's look at the nature of the infinite sum. The sum of the tk's from k from 1 to infinity, what it really is is a limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from k equals 1 through n of tk, which is the limit of n goes to infinity of t1 plus t2 all the way through to tn. So let's find out what happens when we stack them on top of each other. That's the, that's the trick to take these and stack them on top of each other. So for just a second we're going to remove the halves. So we're not, because there's always a coefficient of halves. So there's no, there's no point in putting them in front of everything. We'll just put it in the front in the, in the end. So we get 2 times t1, because we're multiplying by 2 to get rid of the half, is equal to 1 over 1 minus 2 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Then 2 times t2 is equal to 1 over 2 minus 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Then we have 2 times t3 is equal to 1 over 3 minus 2 over 4 plus 1 over 5. I'm going to scroll down a bit here. And we're going to go off to the second last term now. 2 of t n minus 1 is equal to 1 over n minus 1 minus 2 over n plus 1 over n plus 1. And we have 2 t n is equal to 1 over n minus 2 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n plus 2. Now what I want you to notice is the following. We have diagonals. Notice that everything on this diagonal cancels out. If we were to write 2 times t4 here, we would get 1 over 4 minus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 6. And notice that over here, 1 over 4 minus 2 over 4 and 1 over 4 also cancel out to 0. So we're going to get diagonals canceling out. So there's going to be a diagonal here that cancels out, a diagonal here, and this is going to get canceled out and these two along with what's above is going to get cancelled out. So what we're left with is the following. We have 1 over 1 1 over 1 negative 2 over 2 1 over 2 1 over n plus 1 minus 2 over n plus 1 and 1 over n plus 2 in the end, that's what the, the, the partial sum is equal to up to the nth term. So let's see what that equals. We have 1 over, well, let's write it out, t1 plus t2 all the way through to tn is equal to 1 over 1 minus 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over n minus 1, sorry, n plus 1, minus 2 over n plus 1, plus 1 over n plus 2. So 
these two cancel out because they're both ones and we can combine this one with this one because they have the same denominator so we get 1 over 2 plus 1 over n plus 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 and we can combine we can combine these two they don't have the same denominator but we can put them together to get 1 over 2 actually there should be a factor of 2 here times everything uh, 1 over 2 because we we have all these factors of 2 over here 1 over 2 times so minus 1 over n plus 1 times n plus 2 so t1 all the way through to tn is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 and that goes to 1 over 4 as n goes to infinity so the answer is 1 over 4 and if you plug it into a program you'll find that that is indeed the answer that it gives you so that that gives us the answer uh, I just want to show you quickly a alternate method um, it's clever so it's harder to find out or to discover but I want to show it to you because it would significantly reduce the amount of work we have to do we can write this as fk minus fk plus 1 where fk is equal to half of 1 over k times k plus 1. I'll leave it to you to prove this decomposition using this formula here but this is in fact true so what you would get is that the sum from k equals 1 through n of 1 over k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 is equal to f of 1 minus f of n plus 1 and that's equal to half of we'll factor out the half so we get 1 over 1 times 2 minus 1 over n plus 1 times n plus 2 which is what we had before and that is equal to 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 times n plus 2 and that once again goes to 1 over 4 as n goes to infinity okay thank you for watching and I'll see you next time